Hi, my name is Percy Hooper. Now, getting to your interests and curiosity. Both of them cause you to be hungry for information. If you have a hobby, perhaps it's vintage automobiles. Here is, is a whole lot full of vintage cars and they're having a showing. Well, this is your interest. You're going to stop. You're going to go over there. You're going to examine car by car. You're going to look at the details. You're going to look inside the upholstery, the leather. You're going to look at the outside, the paint job. You're going to lift the, uh, the hood and examine the engine. You're going to soak in all of this. Why? It's your interest. Can you see how your interest has helped you to become an investigator? a researcher, and you didn't even feel it. It felt good. That's what you were interested in. The more you learn, the more you want to learn. Curiosity fits in there also. Say you go to a hardware store. Take time. Look at the things that are being sold. Pick up a, a product, an object. Turn it around. Say, huh, how is this used? Oh, that's how it's used. Now, how else might it be used? Use your curiosity to examine this. How is it made? How does it go together? How does it work? Ask these questions. Curiosity helps you make sense of the world. Learn to ask how. Learn to ask why. These are things that you can ask yourself, but curiosity also helps you ask others. Talk to a dentist. Ask him about his work, how he does what he does. What are the challenging parts of his work? What are the most difficult parts? What are the things that they enjoy most? So ask, pull in that information, be a sponge for knowledge. That will help you generate ideas.